communication in this video I'm gonna show you how you can reset your Linksys range extender as you see this is my extender I have here okay and for reset what I have to do first I have to connect to the power cable when it's connect to the power cable the green light should come after here as you see one small place for reset as you see and one purple color button inside some pen head you can use put inside and what you have to do you have to hold for 10 seconds until this light is blinking okay here is the pen head i put inside as you see and i have to press until the light is blinking As you see the light is start to blinking when light is start to blinking leave that pen head and wait for the router okay okay this is blinking after blinking it should stop leave this one side doesn't matter leave this one side now and as you see I already have the CD inside my laptop and what I have to do this process you can do manually and by the CD too I have another video there I showed how you can do manually I have to go to my computer at Windows 7 Vista or Windows 8 it would be the same the process and at my computer as you see DVD driver Linksys range extender click at the right button on it and the first option set up your Linksys range extender click that one after that click yes and as you see the setup is preparing we have to wait a bit it's telling me that connect your extender with the electric seat will click next okay if some window appear as this avoid this don't do nothing here as you see this one yes minimize this one here as you see fiber tail and dd ddwrt i have two wi-fi ssid available here is depend how many you have and which one you have to connect have to select that one for example i want to extend fiber tail so that i have to click next and i have to put the password of this wi-fi or this ssid okay and set up your extender now is setting up the extender is searching and doing the things you can use the desktop PC and the notebook is the same it would not make any difference okay as you see I have one option it say move the extender to a different location if you didn't set up your extender at a location where you want it you can move it now simply that means you now you can put your extender where you want to put after that click next for be check that is working properly or not as you see congratulations your extender has been successfully set up and your wireless network has been extended to provide an additional wireless range that is perfect that is all my friend if you like this video please do subscribe if you have any question leave me as a comment i will try to answer as much fast as possible as always for more information go to the irs communication www.irscommunication.com good night ciao